what's going on what's up welcome back to my channel and by welcome back i mean welcome because chances are you've never been here before so you should consider subscribing um because there's nothing else to do now that the entire world is on lockdown but to make stuff so i'm going to be making uh lots of youtube videos and all the uh, all the good things like that so in this video i'm going to teach you how to do a seamless panoramic using the carousel feature on Instagram. So this is a question I get asked all the time on Instagram and I'm gonna answer it right now. So on Instagram, we want our photos to take up the maximum amount of screen real estate. So Instagram photos are four by five or 1080 by 1350 pixels. So 1080 wide, 1350 pixels high. That is the size of an Instagram photo. But if you take your photo landscape and you upload it to Instagram, it's gonna compress it nice and small and it takes up very little screen real estate which means when people are scrolling through their feed your image is much smaller you see the text above and below it it doesn't take up as much screen real estate and people don't get to see it in all of its glory so one cool trick around this is by utilizing the carousel feature in instagram which allows you to post multiple photos in a single post for people to swipe across so if you take your lovely landscape photo and chop it and upload them in the correct order then you can swipe and it'd be one really nice clean continuous swipe and I'm going to show you how to do that right now so once you've got your image into Photoshop you want to hit your crop tool and make sure that your crop is set to 2160 by 1350 then what you want to do is you want to go up to view in the toolbar go down to new guide layout Hit that then you'll get this little pop-up which says the number two so you're getting two guides in this little line down the center of your screen then you want to go back over to your crop tool and underneath that so if you press and hold you'll see the slice tool then up the very top you see slice from guides what this does is it cuts the image into using the guideline that you've just set so now your 2160 image is now two separate 1350 by 1080 images so then I need to do is save it so if you hit command option shift and s or you can go to export and save for web this is just a keyboard shortcut make sure that your size is set to 2160 by 1350 because it's two slices make sure both slices are selected hit save select where you want to save it to make sure where it says slices it says all slices so you'd save both of them rename them and save them.
So when people ask how to do this and I explain that there's a little bit of maths involved, uh, they generally they generally wince and then they generally forget about it. Um, but it's really really simple. So if Instagram is 1350 pixels high by 1080 pixels wide, you need two Instagram posts. So it's 1350 pixels high by 1080 wide by two. So it's 2160 wide by 1350 high. And that's the crop you need on your photo. And there you have it, just like that. That is how you do a seamless panoramic using the carousel feature on Instagram. If you do go ahead and use this little feature, be sure to tag me. I'd love to see the results and what you guys get to put together. So there you have it. So I guess now if anybody asks me how to do it again, I can just link them to this video. As I said at the beginning, if you're new around here, which you most likely are because of I've never used this channel really and I'm gonna start using it quite regularly now that we're all locked inside and there's nothing else to do so please go down and hit the subscribe button for more regular videos and until the next one which will most likely be tomorrow I'll see you then goodbye